Welcome back, Endorphin Training Crew. It's Coach Ian here with another new warm up for you. Some of these movements are going to look similar to the ones that we did the other week. Uh, there's quite a few that are the same here. We're going to start with our Spider Man crawl or lunge. We're going to add a vertical reach to it like we did last week, and we're going to put our ear down to the ground as we do it as well. So we're going to take a big step forward. Front foot's going to be planted, it's going to be right next to our hands. We're going to try to square our hips and extend our rear leg behind us. From here, I'm going to take the same, the arm closest to the leg that's down. I'm going to reach through my scapula, so I don't really care about what my hand's doing. I care about how much I can turn my upper torso. And then from here, I'm going to look up and reach my hand as far as I can. Once I'm there, I'm going to come back down here, go to the mat. I can kind of go through a little motion here, turn my head to get some more rotation this way in my upper back. We're going to do five each side. From there, we're going to go to our squatted hip opener. Squatted hip opener looks like this. We're going to be down here and we're going to drive our legs out, either one at a time or both at the same time. We're going to forcefully contract the glute and then drag this thing back in. What we're doing today is we're going to add a vertical reach to it. So I'm going to reach with the opposite arm that's opening my leg. So I'm going to open up my left hip, but I'm going to rotate my right upper thoracic spine or my right shoulder, scap, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to open up on the left side, I'm going to reach on the right side, I'm going to drive my leg back in, come back down. I'm going to do five on each side here. On the right side it looks like this, from the side it looks like this here. I'm here, I drive out, or I can use my arm to drive out, and then I reach up, twisting as much as I can, coming back down, opening up the hips, opening up the upper back. From there, we're gonna go back to our tall bear crawl. Most important points of performance here are pushing the head through, keeping the legs nice and straight, locked out at the knees if possible, and the feet flat. So from the side, it looks like this here, and most people kind of are just in this position. You wanna put the feet down, really extend back, with the head, the chest reaching through. We're gonna go five forward and five backwards here. In the front, looks like this. Then we're gonna move into some more shoulders. This is a pretty com common one for people that uh, Olympic weightlift or do CrossFit. We're gonna do what we call shoulder dislocates. My goal is not to take this PVC as far as I can back here. My goal is to take it as far as I can in the usable range of motion, controlling this. I'm gonna exhale, and as I exhale, I'm gonna pull this thing further back. I'll inhale, bring it forward. Exhale, pull it back. I'm gonna do five, and then from there, I'm gonna do a folded shoulder extension. I could have my hands with thumbs over or under the PVC, and what I'm gonna do here, is I'm gonna bend and push the PVC as far away from me as I can. I'm gonna try to get this over my head while locking out my legs. I'm again going to exhale and bring this up towards my head, and then I'm gonna inhale and let it come down. I'm gonna do that five times. That will conclude our stretching portion of the warm up. Next up, we have some skill work for you because we know how much you love learning new things, reinforcing skills, and going over those primal patterns. So, the one that we're gonna work on today is hinging. We work on this quite a bit because most people do it wrong. It seems simple, but to have a great hinge is very, very difficult. Uh, I work on mine all the time myself and still have quite a bit to do. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up a kettlebell and we're gonna do a Romanian deadlift. The knees should almost be completely straight. What I'm really doing is reaching back with my butt as far as I can, and then I'm gonna use my legs like they're curling. So that's what the hamstring does the back of the leg. I'm going to curl my legs up, squeezing my butt, driving my chest forward. I'm not going to reach with my shoulders. So I'm not overextending through the upper back and the lumbar spine to get the hips through. I'm using the hips to drive them forward. So glutes are driving my hips forward. We're going to do 10 reps here, just slightly bent, chest down, kettlebell nice and close. Once we've done that, then we're going to go to single leg RDLs. Don't be afraid to do it without weight. Again, the hinge is very, very difficult. From the front, it will look like this. I'm gonna reach back with the rear leg. I'm trying to keep the toe down as much as possible and sit the leg as far back as I possibly can. Chest comes down because the hips are going back and then I'm gonna, again, curl forward. Toe stays down. Most people do this kind of deal. Knock themselves off, the ba off balance. Use your big toe to pull you forward. If we could do that proficiently, then we're gonna use a weight. You're gonna act like you're dropping the weight right on your toe. Again, same premise. 
Big toe grabs the mat here. Big toe on the other side points down at the mat. I pull forward. I'm gonna do five each side. Nice and controlled. Once I finish those, I'm gonna go to my 10 goblet squats. Knees out, chest up, nice and tight through the middle. No collapsing down. No dropping faster than you could keep the uh, compression in your abdominal cavity from side. It looks like this here. We're gonna do 10 goblet squats. After we've done 10 goblets, we're gonna throw this one at you. It's a skater squat. Most people aren't accustomed to it. Think of it as a reverse pistol. You could do them unweighted here. And all you're gonna do, it's gonna be very similar to RDL where I hinge back here. Well, I'm gonna hinge back slightly, but it's actually a squat, so there's gonna be a lot more knee flexion, knee bend. So I'm gonna be here, and I'm gonna come down as far as I can. Some people may even be able to drop the knee, and then come back up. So I wanna hover without touching, and then go here. I'm gonna do five on each side. If that's easy for me, then I'm gonna pick up my kettlebell, and then I'm gonna do my skater squat here. Down and forward. In this case, the weight could actually help you some because it serves as a counterbalance. It's very difficult if you don't have the flexibility to be able to take these unweighted right down to the mat and then back up without actually touching. The final piece of our, our warm-up is a three-minute AMRAP. It's going to be 10 kettlebell swings, 10 double unders, and then 10 seconds of an RKC plank for three minutes, as many rounds as possible. We're in hinge, nice, just like that RDL. That's one of the reasons why we started off with the RDL here. We're going to hike the kettlebell back, and I'm going to drive my hips forward. If this is easy for me and I can do 10 of these proficiently, then I can go to single arm swings. I'll just alternate arms each time. So I'm gonna do 10 swings, 10 double unders. Let's see the hands out in front of you. Chest nice and upright and in a nice straight stack position that we're gonna be here, nice and controlled from our singles to our doubles. Now we're gonna do 10 and we're not gonna do donkey kick or plank forward, right? From there, we're gonna go down to the mat and do a RKC plank. If you're not familiar with these, the difference from a prone plank is that we're gonna start on our forearms, we're gonna drag our hands down towards our feet isometrically, we're gonna dig our feet in, we're gonna squeeze our butt like prison defense here, and then I'm gonna suck myself up. I'm gonna hold this for 10 seconds, squeezing as hard as I can. The entire front of the body and back of the body are all squeezing for 10 seconds. Try it for three minutes. Let's see if it gets your heart rate up.